is Ruel's Running Podcast, a podcast about running, health, family, play, and an NSNG lifestyle. And now, here's your host, Ruel. Excuse me as I rock on. That's Went Away by Dorothy Lane. Dorothy Lane out of Martinez, California. That's out of the Cut and Dry album. Check them out at DorothyLaneMusic.com. Yeah. Do you need a website? If you're an individual, a consultant, a group, or small business and need a site, or maybe you have an existing site, I can help. How about graphic design? Do you need a, need a design for a t-shirt, logo, product, business cards? You know, maybe you need help with designing and developing a brand. I'm not an expert, but I do have the tools and the techniques to get the job done. How about a podcast? Yep, like this thing. This thing's a silly little show. Um... Do you, are you looking to set up a podcast of your own? Are you looking to reach an audience? Uh, promote your business via podcast? Well, Abadam Studios. That's right, Abadam Studios. Yeah, so that's Abadam Studios. Abadamstudios.com, A-B-A-D-A-M-S-T-U-D-I-O-S.com. Check it out. Hey, everybody. Welcome to the podcast. It's Ruel. How are you? Ruel's Running Podcast. And by the way, if you are a, if you're a long-time listener, or if you're a new listener, um, yes, welcome. And I uh, just want to point out, um, that lovely voice in the intro is uh, Anna Vecina, uh, old-time guest of the show. And uh, she's a big deal. You'll find her um, as a co-host on a the Fitness Confidential podcast, uh, along with Vinnie Tordrich, um, mostly on the Monday show, the original format, and you can also find her on AnnaVicino.com. She's the author of two cookbooks, Eat Happy and Eat Happy Too. I have to say it like that too, because there's, it's not the number two; it's spelled out T O O. <laughs> um, yeah. <clears throat> So anyways, it has been a heck of a long time, and a lot has happened. Um, So as of this recording, we are um, on the back end of the month of March. And uh, recently, Lonnie Beecham and I published... Uh, the, 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 the latest episode of the Service Guys podcast, I think it was episode 55, um, you know, we talk about what's going on in Lonnie's world and Lonnie's business and, and, um, we talked about mutual friends and specifically friends from the Simply Human podcast, Longtime listeners of this podcast may remember Rick Bentley, he was on uh, on a couple episodes, maybe three, and I may be guilty of republishing out of the archive the same podcasts. Um, yeah, so, you know, it's a very, very sad time because his best friend and... Um, co-host of the Simply Human podcast had passed away um, not too long ago. It seems it may have been a couple weeks ago now um, from a, an auto an auto accident. Um, very sad. We didn't talk about the details of, you know, how, you know, Mark Rogers is, is, uh, is who I'm talking about. Mark Rogers um, you know, I caught wind of his passing in, uh, from a Facebook post. Chris Brannon, a mutual Facebook friend, um, 
had posted a photograph of him and Mark. And I was like, oh, that's Mark Rogers, you know. So him and Mark standing, you know, smiling at the camera. And, and uh, you know, I kind of skimmed through the, the text of the post. And it started to read kind of of that... It, it read of that sort of like that vibe of, you know, sad news, you know, someone had passed. And so then I'm thinking, okay... Chris would have been the one that passed because it's his post. So automatically you think, okay, Chris, Chris is not the one who's passed. But who's he talking to? Who's talk? Who's he referring to? And you can see in the text, it's a there's a a, a tag. It, he he said tag Mark Rogers, and I'm thinking the only other person on this post is Mark. And I mean, he's not talking about Mark. You know? And, and uh, kind of read it a little bit more intently and. You know, and it was talking about Mark passing away. And I was like, it's got to be a mistake. So, you know, hmm, I click on Mark's name in the post then it, to take me to Mark's profile just to confirm it's the same Mark Rogers. I mean, visually, it's Mark Rogers who I know. But maybe I'm just, it's a mistaken identity for me. Maybe I just, I'm recognizing who someone who looks like Mark Rogers, but is uh, not. You know, and just never mind the coincidence that the name is the same, right? So I click on it because I need more confirmation. And confirmation is that, yeah, I click on it and, yeah, it's it's the same Mark Rogers that I know of and uh, I'm Facebook friends with. And um, I'm, so I read through some of the recent posts on Mark's profile and at least a couple of folks, you know, are posting about his passing, right? And, and um blown away and I'm I don't feel it's real it's surreal it's um and uh I poke around I think more may have been from Mark I mean from Chris Chris's posts there's a a news article um about the accident basically it was a two-lane highway and a vehicle other than mark mark was in the vehicle with his family his wife and his uh his his daughters and they were traveling they were returning from a spring break trip and so another vehicle was traveling in the same direction at a high rate of speed and wa attempted to overtake Mark and the family switched over into into the lane to, to tr attempt the um, passing and realized that it wasn't safe to cross and maybe there was an, on, an oncoming vehicle I don't know, I can't remember the details of the article but I do remember that that, that vehicle had quickly uh, transitioned back into the same lane as Mark and clipped, if I'm not mistaken, his sort of, uh, yeah, clipped the, the rear side of the vehicle, causing Mark and the family's vehicle to uh, lose, basically get loose control, run off the road, hitting a, a tree first and, you know, and and you know crashing and um, the other the, the, the other vehicle also ran off the road and uh, caught flames and uh, Mark's family was taken to the hospital and Mark at some point um, had been um, identified as you know not making it and very sad um so it's you know, i'm late posting just general episodes but i'm also late you know talking about sad news um i had no i as you know i don't have any agenda these days talking on the podcast and mark was the first thing that came to mind and it, it you know I have more interactions with with Rick, you know, offline. I mean, I mean, on chat and stuff, and over the phone, and recording 
the, the past episodes on podcasts and stuff and you know and um, you know Rick and Mark had me on one of their episodes of their podcast uh, as a guest just talk you know dumb stories and you know they, they have this cool format where every now and then they'll have someone have a listener on and they'll, the listener will tell some outrageously hairy uh, hilarious or disgusting or both hilarious disgusting so, at any rate entertaining <laughs> uh, stories you know and you know I got on and you know I lived through my story and um, I don't think it was a great story it was about me and wiping out on a m- moped and basically you know losing fragments of my teeth to the <laughs> to the road um but yeah, uh, so you know, I, you know, I, regardless of not having as much interaction with Mark as I did Rick, you know, what I realized or was reminded of is that you can listen to somebody on a podcast over and over and over and feel really connected to that person you know and and especially having at least having a couple interactions in you know live sort of over the phone or social social or or whatever um there's there's a direct connection um and and it 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 really it bugged me right It, it 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 was hard i was in shock i was and more morning, and I felt bad for um, for his family and for Rick and everybody else who was touched by his presence, his life, right? What he, what he was, whether it's laughter or whether it's uh, uh, personal support, um, what, you know, whatever it was, right? Um, yeah. You know, he was a big deal in this com- community. You know, he was a big deal personally. Um, and, and it's sad that you don't r- realize the impact that somebody has on your life until after, you know, they've passed. And you can't say anything to them anymore. So, you know. Um, so, yeah, you know, I guess if we can try to just remember how blessed we are that we have who we have in our lives and uh, if we can just imagine you know what it would be like for a moment if you didn't have them anymore you know and 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 I'm not saying you know be this be morbid and imagine everybody around you you know something terrible happened to them so that you can feel a certain way but sometimes i mean it's just an example i mean this is just an example of how it it was the case you know and you know what mark meant for me as a as a podcaster was that you know i could only i couldn't be as funny as Mark was or silly as Mark was I can't he he and Rick I can't ever have that dynamic that he and Rick have because the, what they have something special their connection all of their inside jokes you know it makes you want to be really involved so that you can be on the inside so that you can be an insider of the inside jokes um, that's what it meant for me and you know um, you know, he, he had, you know, Mark was the, you know, no offense to Rick and Rick's talked about it. Mark, there wouldn't be a podcast without Mark. There wouldn't have been the Simply Human podcast without Mark. And Mark, um, you know, had, Mark and Rick had interviewed or had conversations with many guests. I mean, practically every episode was a guest episode, you know, um, my podcast is not. So, it's it's like uh, I I uh, I'm inspired. I was inspired by what they were able to uh, put out 
whatever they um, whatever they were able to produce, all that stuff. So, you know, not to mention, you know, um, you know, for a long time, <coughs> you know, I took I you know, subscribe subscribe to their podcast, and there was a time where just my listenership in general just kind of went down. I was just going through my own period of time where. Uh, and it may have been tied to the pandemic, you know, you, there was less commuting going on, so I was listening to less podcasts, or I was just having my own issues that took me away from podcasting, and 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 that also meant listening. So, but you know, when I was when I picked back my listenership, you know, and I wanted to I listened to an episode of the Sublime podcast and and felt and I would always feel guaranteed there was a guaranteed sense that um, I can pick up where I left off and it's kind of like a really good friendship right um, if you're really really good friends with somebody this, it doesn't matter how much time and distance are away from that person you can kind of hop back into it once you sort of get into it and it was that way kind of sad you know my friends are podcast episodes <laughs> but but i think folks who listen to podcasts get it like i can i can i can tune into rules running podcast and get the same nonsense that he typically <laughs> puts out um you know i'm i i am a reliable source of nonsense so if everybody wants to just fill their ear with with noise you know tune in here but with with uh with mark and rick i could always count on yeah getting their back and forth the hilarity <laughs> you know so uh, so, you know I'm gonna miss it I'm gonna miss it a ton gonna miss um, newer episodes and things um, and uh, just praying that everybody gets uh, heals and you know pray for Mark and the family Mark, Mark's family and and, and all of his people that miss him you know um but yeah he was a special guy and really special even more special in his community and for his close his close friends and family um and uh with my 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 level of knowing him yeah he was a great guy he was a he was yeah he was special and i just wanted to talk about him a bit because in a way you know you know his movement his podcast you know was part of my journey in in podcasts you know um we have mutual friends in Vinnie Tordrich and Anna Vicino and uh and uh you know he's had guests on his episode that I've met personally in particular, you know, uh, there's a particular uh, functional medicine doctor that's local to where I am, um, who's uh, has a name for himself, who's also a podcaster in sort of uh, kind of the functional medicine and paleo space. So anyways, so that's that. Um, I got to go take care of something. So uh, let's break. Thanks for listening to Ruel's Running Podcast with Ruel. If you like what you just heard, share it with your friends and your enemies. Also, be sure to check out the site over at ruelsrunning.com. This has been another Coffee with Heavy Cream production. Join us next time for another silly show of Ruel's Running Podcast. Yeah, I-